Okay, so the second video, um, as you can see, I have all the arrows in the chart of the thing I want to talk about today. The reason is that uh, I already recorded it once, but the sound didn't work, so that's awesome. Um, but let's give it a second ch chance before I, you know, g give up completely if this is not going to work, and I'm just doing it for myself and. Whatever. Anyway, let me just delete things and then I will talk about what I did today and what I actually traded today. I took one trade in a BTC. I was long from here to here to actually prove it or show that I'm not just making this stuff up. I have a screenshot somewhere. Just need to give me a second. It's here. Okay, this is a screenshot that I took um, today, you know, 17th of August. Uh, this is my entry here. Uh, my, I got filled. I will show you in a second where I got out. Uh, this thing right here is just I misclicked when I was setting up the order because um, that's something I often do, and especially in the broker web UIs. That I use so yeah this is just you know you can see I opened the trade and I just closed it immediately uh, so that's not important but what's important is my fill here and my exit here um, my target for this trade was this high pretty much so let's let's actually get that, that off and yeah so why I took this trade and um, so on so the quickly the higher time frame analysis uh, I mentioned this, I think, on Twitter. Um, you know, this is not looking too hot for me, uh, for the upside right now. Uh, this POC of this high volume note is also the consolidation. You can see it more clearly on H4, um, which, you know, started this whole move and which also broke this... Uh, low of this kind of a huge range that was here so th this is very significant level and i wouldn't be surprised if surprised if we if we continued lower so um but on the other hand um if you take a look at, at the daily this is still you know higher highs higher lows uh as long as this low is not broken this is this uptrend is still on so uh not that <laughs> It's also important for my trading as uh, this trade took like two hours. That's that's kind of my um, average time. I know the, the prior trade I showed you took like 10 minutes, but between like one and three hours, it's uh, usually how long I hold the trades. Um, so yeah, so let me just, this is very, this is actually, I was, I was kind of thinking if I should share this or not because this is like extremely high probability thing that uh, doesn't happen that often but when it happens you know that's like all stars aligned for you to go long and or go to the trade and the probability of this working out will be quite a high so if you take a look on H4 this is this is um, quite a clear here to see you have these three drives slower okay so you have one two three drives slower this is a bullish pattern you know uh, the three drive i'm sure you heard of it if you didn't you can google it um you'll find a blog forum para curve uh, and he is talking about it so you have this three drive on h4 after you know this v-shape reversal obviously the fact that this is losing the momentum and it's kind of a channeling down uh, after hitting that POC is a concern but you know on the other hand you still have some bullish signs at least to here this is the 47k I mentioned yesterday on Jesus this is here as well fucking hell on Twitter because I was actually and trying to get long here uh, yesterday evening which I scratched uh, for basically break even so yeah it was not the bad trade i was pretty much going long after we filled this little bit of a price void we had the initial push i moved my stop and got out around the break even so nothing to uh, 
talk about that that much but what happened basically later on we also took out this low and once again you have to three drive okay one two three drive slower and on the second uh, and third drive which is obviously this one and this one you can see the pickup in volumes and in delta okay so these red bars you know high volume higher delta uh, these are very often marking some sort of short term uh, bottom as you know obviously a lot of a lot of people are tra are shorting and um, you know usually aggressive you know sellers and aggressive buyers uh, mark out the end of the trends it, it can be it can be also sign of a strong breakout it all depends on overall structure as you can see you know we here uh, broken the structure on on the high selling you get the retest you get lower uh, but then as as this as this move is losing the steam you have the red candle at the end of the trend you have the red candle at the end of this move and so on so yeah these are and the same for the uh, dark blue bars you know these are also uh, high high volume high delta buying Anyway, uh, as you can see, you know, we made a tree drive and this one right here broke the structure uh, on the 30 minute chart. So that's the, that's the, this thing right here, this swing high at the daily open, you know, pretty much made this low. We got above it. So the structure is broken now. Um, also on the TPO we hit the hit this level finally that I mentioned in the previous video uh, was this bulge of volume the also the uh, value area high from the prior day so generally this is good area to look for longs um, and you can see we hit that we move higher uh, I think on filtered footprint uh, if I'm going to go to the time as this happened and this is you know the same thing I talked about a minute before on the on the 30 minute chart but you can see how many uh, shorts are here move, trying to break lower than you know bar stepped in so these people are clearly fucked so you can uh, then use uh, their exit liquidity as you know they will cover around the break even to f fuel your lungs um, but yeah that's that's just kind of a thing you can do anyway i was coming at the screen around here uh and i knew i want to get long uh especially when i when you take when you see things like this that you make a very flat high without a any excess higher you know no wick pretty much very flat a uh, five minute candle then you come to close proximity to it but you don't take it then you know another candle which didn't take it and then you have this kind of a uh descending uh move uh let me just you know yeah so it's yeah it was this one you have kind of this descending move lower where no you know structural high is even bro broken so you can it's quite safe to say that there will be you know liquidity above these highs you know the stops will be resting there from all the people who went short so um for my long entry basically i want to get long uh as close as the invalidation as i can um when you have a high momentum moves which this one is not in my opinion because Although we broke the structure, you start this consolidation. Uh, I don't really want to get long here, okay, in this candle, because you know I'm, I'm still the likelihood of first, you know, we are inside a prior day value, so uh, and we are struggling at the POC, and you have value area low right here. This is also the yesterday low, and if you take a look at 30 minute chart this is you know this support basically uh we broke below it got above it so you have this kind of over under structure uh so and i'm on the whole idea first of all i'm not get, getting long here because you know my target is here this this the risk reward 
is it can still be there as a scalp but uh, the chance that we will pull back here uh, and I can take this was I think for our trade I can do something like this is yeah much better okay so uh, I'd rather miss this here then just you know wait for the pullback lower get long here and target this high all the way up here also uh, the one last thing which just you know gives even more confirmation and uh, showing you how how good of the setup this is is that as we are making you know as we are pushing lower you have very large selling on the delta so the aggressive sellers are trying to push this really to the lows um, even to the point that we break the uh, below the low of the day on the delta and as you can see you know the low is here but this you know you have the clean divergence here pretty much it's too the the sellers are just too aggressive at this point and since we are coming to the perfect spot to to go long this is you know very easy short squeeze which then ended up happening and i you know got uh, i took profit here at the highs for the 4r uh one more thing this is worth to mention is uh the invalidation for the trade like you are really wrong here but uh this is something i do often i don't like to talk about it because i know how people are with with trading especially the short term trading but um uh, below this low this is my soft stop and this is my hard stop okay so my stop is actually here and i'm risking around i don't know two percent per trade if my usual risk is one percent uh but when market starts to trade and break below the, this low and i will see the selling is not dying down then i'm just cutting the trade okay so i am pretty much increasing my position size uh on kind of the the fact that i will just cut the trade if it it breaks my soft stop uh rather than holding it below the low especially on a good setup like this um but yeah i know that a lot of people put their hard stop here so they have soft uh, stop in head here and the market starts going over they will never cut it and they will just lose i don't know two or three percent and it will fuck them and you know things will get worse so that's why i don't like to mention it but for when you have a hyper high probably setup which you know you journal a lot of times you see to play out a lot of times then you can uh with the time and i don't know experience you can afford uh, do things like that uh so yeah that's that's the trade that's the long i took uh unfortunately i wasn't able to get the short because uh although we had the level uh once again i wasn't like too sure too you know sure about this structure compared to this one so i'm you know if i go short here i'm i'm wrong here this is too wide for me i was actually expecting push at least to or i was hoping for the push to value area high you know closer to invalidation and then just uh get into some shorts we then broke below, uh, tested Viva with this huge sell absorption. So uh, even though I wouldn't get filled because price never got here, uh, this kind of prevented me from. I wouldn't, you know, place my order here anyway. So yeah, this kind of, you know, order flow didn't pay out. We broke level once again, and uh, yeah, strong momentum. You know, never retracing this price structure and the Viva. So no fills there whatsoever which is okay you know that's that happens um you nev can never expect that market just do what he wants it's it's all of a you know probabilities and stuff like that so yeah i hope this time the audio will work and i will be seeing you uh with some next trade maybe who knows bye